what's up guys and welcome to another video and let's get ready to wake up and react or go to bed and watch this probably because it's always late on patreon uh to another episode of full metal um episode 18 so last time maria ross is dead i don't think she's dead but the sins tried to set this trap for roy i guess like Oh, and I just put together, totally miss this every single time, Roy is a candidate for some reason? I haven't- It seems like the only thing linking people together as a candidate so far is having an experience with truth. So does that mean that our boy Roy has met truth? That's what I'm thinking. So now- mm, But he didn't lose anything. It doesn't seem like he lost anything. Unless he lost someone he cared about? Because his body looks, or seems fine. We haven't, I haven't seen his whole body yet, but they would have mentioned it if he had a metal arm or something. So, I don't know. But somehow he's a candidate, which means he has to have met truth. And then, um, the boys found out about Hughes already, the uh, episode before that. Maria, I don't think she did, well, we know she didn't do it, but I don't think she's dead. Um... I think that it's all part of their plan. Like, they figured out what the Sins probably wanted them to do. Roy and his gang. And then they kind of played into their hands, I guess you could say. Um, but really, I don't think he actually killed her. It's a, It's got to be a dummy body. He probably has the doctor in on this because there's no way that's her. It's probably someone he trusts. And he's like, dude, just say what I need you to say because otherwise people's lives will be in danger. Let them think she's dead. Uh, and then they kept saying they want they wanted to do this thing with Maria, like two birds with one stone type of thing, to get Roy under control. Like, make him stop, you know, looking for answers to this whole thing. Like, about the sins. Oh, it was Maria, not us. We didn't have anything to do with it. Oh, okay. But then maybe he'll drop their whole thing, or at least some of it. So, anyway. See, that's why it's always important to go back and watch things. <sighs> Yelling at myself, not you guys. <laughs> okay, anyway. Don't know what else to say. So, remember to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And if you guys want full reactions, you can catch that on my Patreon. Other than that, let's jump into the reaction, guys. Hi! I'm trying to X this out, man. I don't leave this open. Map up the soul. Oh my god, dude. I'm obsessed with K-pop. I've been listening to a couple different ones lately. Like, it's a new one. Super M. Mm. I love everything. Okay, don't get me wrong. Love BTS. ARMY, right? I'm actually not signed up for the ARMY, but I wish I was. I need to figure that out and just do it. I don't know how hard it is. But anyway, okay. So... But I have to say, I, I like their music videos a lot. I like them a, li a little bit better than BTS's uh, music videos. Because they're just, I think it's just kind of like a preference, probably. But BTS's, there's not as much craziness going on. At least lately. In their older music videos, yeah. But like, there's so much CGI and like effects going on in the background. Constant outfit changes. They're... They're dancing. It's not as good as BTS's dance choreography, but it's up there. Like, the visuals... Oh man, a lot of K-pop. This must be a K-pop thing. The visuals are always so colorful. It's always so bright. But, like, I have to say... I have to say this, okay? Some people in BTS, Cookie, not great with the facial expressions to the camera. It's just kind of awkward. But, like, these guys in this Super M... Their facial expressions, they're always on point. They're good at looking cute, sexy, dangerous, like, silly. Like, they're just good. They're good at, like, making eyes to the camera. I'm, like, gushing about them, but, like, 
they can sing so well, some of these guys, like, on Jimin levels. Jimin. Jimin, Jimin, Jimin from BTS. Jimin, Jimin, Jimin. Jiminy Cricket. Jiminy, Jiminy. He can, mm, that boy can sing. And they're, like, up there. I don't know if they're better than him, because I, I'll be honest, Jimin's voice is so fucking angelic. Oh, anyway. But, I'm just saying, this is not a BTS video, but, man, I fell in love with this group. I don't know which one I like more. BTS or them? I can't. I don't know, that's so hard. Is it, am I gonna get hate if any of you watch BTS for saying that, like, there are certain things I like about them better? I like BTS as people. I feel like I know them. I don't really know them yet. I think they're so, like, they're such a family. They just love each other so much, and you can see that. And I like how all their different personalities, come, like, just go well together. They And they care about their fans so much. It's like we're family, in a way. I don't know. I like both groups. I like both groups. But I just, I prefer, probably, Super M's videos, just artistically. It just, fuck, it blows me away. Anyway, um, I can't wait for BTS's new album. November, baby. November. Shit, I don't know. There's a screenshot, I think. November 20-something, I think. November 20th. Yep. PS5 on November... Was it 12th or something? Can't remember. But I'm looking forward to that. PS... Did I say 4? I think I meant to say 5. Anyway. I need to shut up. Let's put the subtitles on. Yep, up, this up. Oh, man. I sort I All I do is watch K-pop videos now. Swear to God. I don't even watch anime anymore other than for the channel. Which is probably a good thing because then I can have more things to react to. Is this full screen? I think so. If you guys don't watch K-pop, you're missing out, man. By now. So why hasn't he called? Hmm. Not to mention that he's got me Shit's here. going down. And the stuff with the oh my god, that's right. His arm is messed no up and he's out there. I hope he's not going to be in a fight. I can explain it all. <gasps> oh yeah, you were with them. <laughs> this guy just pops off. Oh, I love it. <laughs> we can't hear. Yes. How do you even get in? The window. Mm. The window. Are those those ruins or whatever they are? The Jinkies. I can't remember what they were called. It's a story about the origin of alchemy in Amestris. I know fathers from here. The of Xerxes was destroyed in a single night. And if the only survivor wandered into Amestris... That's him! He was the one who went on to spread the science... That's about father. It. How interesting. We have a similar legend in Xing about a drifter from the West. It's said that his teachings were combined with our ancient techniques to form the alchemy we practice today. Mm, it's all the same person, I'm telling you. I wanted to visit the ruins of Xerxes. That route goes by them. Dude, that's where he went. Ah. I called that in the beginning. Really advanced society. How were they wiped out in a single night? It could very well just mm. be a legend. These ruins are messed up. Something happened. Some type of battle. I don't know. <gasps> Dude. Oh. Please. If somebody can read that, that's going to be a big clue. Come on. Shut up, mother... That's important. The prison. When they were going to the prison, it was in that building. Oh my god. Yes. That's where it was. He's not... Like, man. He's probably thinking, that looks familiar. Oh. What language is that in? Ah. <gasps> ah. I wonder if any of the sins could read that. If so, mm, but they wouldn't read it to him. Ah, we gotta find someone who can read it. Ah, I wonder. That tattoo on Scar's arm, if he could read that. I wonder if it's in the same language. I don't know. Edward. Lieutenant Ross! Get the fuck out of here. I called it. Suck it oh, all. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Lieutenant Maria Ross. <laughs> I'm too good. I'm too motherfucking good. I'm good, 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 good. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, ready? Everyone, five seconds of silence. Clap for me. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, you're too much. Oh, dude.
I'm too fucking good. I'm so proud of myself. I can't stop smiling. Oh my god. Ah, it would be see I told you dude it would be so stupid of him to kill her because he knew he was on to them That's why he told oh fuck me. What's her name? Hawkeye. That's why he told Hawkeye Go get intel on her and be quiet about it. Don't tell anyone Keep it on the low low <laughs> hush hush dude <laughs> Lieutenant Lewis, you're alive. Oh my god Ed, 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 Ed You should have listened to me, bro. I was telling you <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll shut up. That damn colonel is the shit! <laughs> yes! Oh my gosh! There really wasn't any place in a mistress we could safely hide a dead girl. Especially one that's still alive, you know? Oh my god, they're so smart. Whose body was that? Yeah. Dude, Roy is so smart. Roy. It seems a little too showy, sir. Is that what you think? This is Murphy. Hey, Mulder, give me the phone for a sec. Barry? <gasps> Yo, Mustang, you see today's paper? Because there's what an the interesting fuck? article on the Hi, Oh, yeah, the butcher. You know better than to call me at work. Oh, that's who that was. Just hang on, okay? The lieutenant fired a bullet all right, but it wasn't me, not you. I've still got a hole in my right hand where it passed right through. Nice. Well, that changes things. Mm hmm Barry. Sketchy I've bitches thought she could get away like. with it. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh. <laughs> gotcha. I promise not to kill anyone. Part How of this master plan. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, I called the shit. Yes. Dude, the music is fucking great. They probably told her, hey, run down this way. Take off your bracelet. We gotta burn that shit with the body. Nice. <laughs> a dummy from this point on mm. you're dead Roy you're such a badass oh this right th this writing right here this plot this arc whatever perfection well I think that I'm gonna give Shing a shot awesome let's go I want to see that place I don't know what it looks like what the people are Shall like your parents other than the ones we know no, sir. As much as I want them to know I'm okay, I'm scared it would be too much of a risk. Yes, girl, you're smart. That kind of danger. That's Very my well. girl. Please deliver a message to the colonel. I need him to know how grateful I am. Aww, yes. No way I can help him. Tell him to send for me. I owe him a great debt, and God. I'm willing to put mm. life on I love her, pay. dude. Mm, mm. She's willing to put her life on the line to repay it. Gave her her life. She feels like she owes it to him. Ooh. I love her. Ooh. That's what they meant. We have an intruder. Okay. Nice. Try and relax, Bowman. We want this one alive, so don't kill it. Why? So you can interrogate him? I don't even know if he's capable of speaking or thought, like intelligent thought. I love that this guy is working with them. A friggin' butcher. He's working with them. This is great. Who did that? Hawkeye? Was that a snipe? What? Who did that? Told you it was safer. We've got the hawk's eyes watching over us out here. Yes. That... She's a badass, huh? What happened? It was nothing. <laughs> nothing. A customer was getting fresh with Jacqueline, so I slapped him around a little bit. <laughs> I love it. Uh, I love their code. That's my old human body. <gasps> what the shit? Are you sure? Those sick bastards must have dumped the soul of some feral lab animal into my body. Are you shitting me? To find me because it wants its real soul back. That's crazy. <laughs> so could Talk about memories. Dang, so you could put your soul back in your body. My soul got yanked out of him. Oh my gosh. That's fucked up. That is so- Yes, we're going back to this. Ed, Ed, Ed. My boy. Mm, smart. Anyway. What the fuck? They took his soul out of his body, put it in armor, and put someone else's soul in his body? Ew, that's gross. First of all, I'm surprised that there are no, like, drawbacks to that or consequences. For, from putting someone else's soul 
in someone else's body. That's just weird. You would think that it wouldn't mix. Ah, that's such a violation. That's so... Mm, that's sick. I hate them, dude. I hate them. What they... Ooh, I hate what they do to people. I hate it. I hate it. It's messed up. I know he probably deserves that. Who cares, right? Because he butchered people. But still, when you think about man... That is twisted. Ugh. Anyway, I want to know what this says. Thought so. What language is it's it? Like the transmutation spell. Yes, the yes, dragon. yes, Ed, yes. Two-headed dragon <gasps> and the sun. Ah, uh, damn it. Why does Probably that dragon from... <laughs> dragon. Is he? Is Valen? Red eyes, white hair. What do you want? I don't have any money, so you The dragon from Scar's tattoo, I'm thinking. Yeah. I know that not all the Mestrians are bad. This lady, yes. Madam Shawnee yes. were both injured during the Civil War. But then we were saved by these two Amestrian doctors. <gasps> to be honest, I do hate you. But the two of them saved Who? me. And you deserve Her parents? Some Winry's parents? Are you saying oh. you're a friend of Dr. Rockbell? Bro, I'm about to fucking cry, Winry. Winry, when you hear about this, throughout the course of the entire war. oh my God, her parents are such good people. They were like an aunt and uncle to me. Oh. They refused to abandon their post. It didn't matter how much the fighting escalated. Dang, dude, that shit warms your heart. They were both murdered in cold blood. And it was by the hand of an Ishvalan they'd saved. Ah, shit. So I'm so sorry. They could have done something to him. Oh, it was Scar, wasn't it? His face was wrapped in bandages. Scar. He was an Ishvalan monk and his right arm was dead. Scar. I saw that. I saw that in the flashback, his arm. Eesh. No wonder these two are gonna fight. Damn. Oh no, I'm gonna have to call you right back. Uh oh. Uh oh. A customer of my own to deal with. Ooh, you 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 stand no chance, girl. Run, 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 run! Please, just run. Oh my God, run, girl. Even if you got him in the middle of the forehead, you're dead. Go. <sighs> Let it all out. Oh! Dude, 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 dude. You need... I couldn't tell if that was my hair or a, a bug. <laughs> Probably my hair, baby hairs. You need to run, Hawkeye, because this guy, he'll kill you and then eat you. He might actually eat you while you're alive. Hand, no wait, finger by finger, limb by limb. Oh, the... He... Oh, the, the, the... Gross. He might just bite you, just like, mm, mm, mm. oh my gosh, like just eat you, chomp by like bit by bit. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my gosh, <coughs> gross. Anyway, wow. Okay, where should I start? Uh, I'll start right there. Yeah, run. Don't know what else to say about that. Um, Bear Barry wants to kill his, chop his body into little pieces. I could see that. It is. It's like a violation. I can't. I wouldn't be able to look at that. Oh, that would bother me. That would just give me chills. That wouldn't unsettle my, like that. Would, uh, I don't even know. I can't speak. My stomach would just be. Oh my God. Can you imagine that? I don't even know how you would feel. Other than just violated. Disgusted. I would be scared. I'd, but at the same time, like, would I want my body back? I would. Initially, yeah, I would. But then if I saw that it was rotting, I would just be angry like how could you do that to me Ugh. Ugh. anyway so um next <laughs> so i get why he's upset anyway um man that guy i don't remember his name um with the cigarette the one who smokes he needs to really figure out that his girlfriend is a sin unless he knows already I don't know if he does or not. He doesn't really give that away, but maybe he's using her for intel. She's saying she's not really getting anything out of him. It might be because he's trying to get something out of her. I'm not sure, though. She has her body covered up pretty well, so 
I don't remember where her tattoo is. Was it on her chest? Can't remember. That would make sense for Lust, right? Ah, I don't know though. Anyway, so uh, Roy, round of applause for you, dude. Your freaking plan, your plan was flawless. Fake body, tell the doctor to talk it up, lie, lie to Ed, you know, put a big show on a big production, really make it seem like you did it for real. Um, good actor, man, he's a good actor. Um, that freaking thing in the garbage can, that little uh, hidden root, oh, so weird. And then, I, I'm sorry, but like, the fact that they use Barry to help them now, like, Having a, your own personal monster that you could just go, like, sick him, and that's it. Like, you stop him from- there. He's like a Suicide Squad member. Seriously, that's what he is. I'll let you kill other bad guys. The moment you try to kill a good guy, or do kill a good guy, you're dead. Like, we're gonna- once we figure out a way to erase your existence, you're done. So, that's literally what they're doing. They're pulling a freaking Amanda Waller right now. Um, anyway, Ed, I like how Ed is, okay, wait, let me finish the whole thing with, um, Roy, but yeah, this whole plan, I, I, I don't see any flaws in it, he got her to safety, now she's saying, I feel like I owe you my life, so if he ever needs help, tell him he can call on me at any time, you know, um, what was I gonna say, oh, I like the code that they have. The girlfriend he was talking to was Hawkeye this whole time. Of course, he talks to her once she leaves. Ha uh ha, -huh, makes sense now. Uh, and then... So if anyone's listening in on their conversations, it doesn't seem... Oh, it's so smart, dude. God, it's so smart. Uh, okay, anyway. And then we get background on Winry's parents, like what they did during the war, how they died. Turns out they were great people during the war. They helped these... Um, the Ishvalan people. Because they were innocent, man. This shit's... Ah! Oh my god. It's sad that Scar killed them. Even though they helped him, they... Man, why would you do that? Okay. So you want to kill all other alchemists. But why kill them? They saved you. That doesn't even make sense. Ugh. I hope you regret that shit. Anyway. Uh, I like how Ed was paying attention to that, that carving. I don't know what, what you call that, like, the, whatever was carved into the stone, the brick, the symbols. Um, part, the top part of it's cut off, but he could read it. So if he was, if he saw the whole image, he'd probably figure something important out. It's a two-headed dragon and something else. Which, I don't know, Two-Headed Dragon might have something to do with that tattoo on his arm. Because it says something about harnessing the power of the dragon through the ground or something. Maybe it's a Two-Headed Dragon. I don't know. I'm going to try to find the scene where he's talking about this. But I think it's right here. Before this. They attack him while he's reading it. Two-Headed Dragon and the sun. The sun. Sun, 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 sun. What would the sun have to do with anything? Sun, dragon, some po I don't know what the power is, but some type of power, some alchemic power. But sun, though, what would the sun be? A different type of power, a different like branch of alchemy or something, because you got alkahestry and then their version of alchemy. I don't know. But anyway, Jing going and trying to get this information from Alphonse because I don't know they're what I don't know what they're gonna do, try to preserve their dad's life until they can properly pick a successor out of all those what, fifty people? Children he has. So I don't know if they're gonna put his body in a suit of armor. But like why the the fact that they t oh my god. Alphonse, he's like, I have nothing to do with this. Why are you asking me and saying that I owe you? He's right. You know, I don't owe you anything. If anything, you owe me for all the food you ate. Um, 
But yeah. I think he'll tell him probably anyway, but... And he is right. He does have a point. Like, I don't... This has nothing to do with me. Your deal with them and them saying, oh yeah, uh, if you do this or that, whatever, then we promise that he'll tell you. Like, what? Hmm. I'm trying to understand what this whole... I'm really trying to get the bigger picture here. And it's so hard. I don't have all the pieces yet. I really want to know what Father's up to. But I know for a fact now. Well, I don't know for a fact. But I can I can say this with like 99% certainty. This guy, Father. Whatever. Uh, in, in, um, in Jing, they have their, you know, story. Their history. Their, I don't know, with him. But then... Ed's country. Oh god, I forgot the name of it already. Amestrians have their own version of it. It's his, that history with the father or whatever, right? It's like god of alchemy. The father of all alchemy, right? I wonder, if you hear all the stories from all of the different countries or cultures and you find like the similarities, maybe you could figure out who this guy really is or what he's really trying to accomplish well probably if you saw that whole image you probably get a big clue as to what he is who he is what he's trying to do mm, can't see that happening until maybe towards like the end of the show maybe or maybe around episode 40 he'll probably get the the picture the full picture i'm not sure uh i don't know i just want to know who this guy is the way ed envisioned him though Though, though, in his little, like, flashback image, that seems really accurate as to how he really looks. So, oh man, I'm telling you, their dad looks so much like him. It's crazy. Hi, hi, hi. Anyway, okay, I need to shut up. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And if you guys want full reactions, you can catch that on my Patreon. Other than that, I'm going to get out of here, guys, and I'll catch you in the next reaction.